Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Fandify Technology Corp, David Vinokarov. How are you doing today, David? Doing fantastic, Rich. How are you? Very, very good. Excited to have you on the show and Thank excited you. to learn more about your company. First and foremost, I want to put everybody's attention to your symbol, FDM in Canada and FDMSF in America. Put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. And David, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Fandify Technology Corp? Yeah, thanks, Rich. Um, well, my background is in capital markets, business development and sales. I've been uh, working with a number of public companies over the years in terms of uh, increasing their visibility, helping them get to institutional types of disclosure levels, institutional financings. I've been following esports closely, both as an investor and with some clients since 2015, 2016, when people were still wondering, you know, people actually play video games for money. Obviously, we've seen huge adoption curves. And I was given the opportunity to join Fandom uh, back early in 2020. Uh, the company had just pivoted to esports. I brought in a whole new tech team. Uh, you know, we started with esports and overlaying predictions and overlaying wagers on in-game uh, component of esports, expanded that to sports. And now with the recent rebranding to Fandify, we're really applying that predictive technologies to any type of streamed uh, content, whether it's a cooking show, a TV show, an esports stream, a sports stream. So uh, it's a really exciting time for the company. Congratulations on all of your success thus far and on this new and exciting project. Can you tell us what are some of the milestones Fandify Technology has set for 2022, which shareholders can look forward to? Certainly, yeah. We're gearing up for our uh, partner beta launches over uh, the second quarter into the third. Uh, that'll show the market exactly uh, the verticals that we're going to be applying ourselves to esports, uh, live broadcast content. We just had an announcement uh, on the 20th uh, with a partnership with Yoruba Media Labs based out of Los Angeles. You know, they're going to be introducing us to you know, some award shows, live scripted content, live musical events as well. And that's really going to show uh, not only investors, but everybody, you know, the power of the Fandify technology. So we'll be going to market, new partnerships, uh, enabling uh, large uh, communities of content creators and uh, showing people how we're going to be making money and empowering the global content community. Absolutely love it as a content creator. We love these types of platforms and we need as many of these as humanly possible. David, can you tell us about the management at Fendify Technology Corp and especially their past success in the public markets? Certainly, yeah. Um, you know, my background, like I said, I worked with a lot of uh, small cap companies that as they were gearing up uh, for larger exposure. So, you know, in terms of investor relations and business development, uh, had experience in uh, social media, mining, uh, now in gaming. Uh, our executive chairman, Philip Chen, he's got a private equity background uh, based out of Shanghai. So he's introduced Vandify to some very um, prominent uh, streaming and gaming companies that hopefully we're going to be executing on some deals with in the back half of the year. We already have a partnership in place uh, with uh, the private sector partner of the League of Legends broadcasters in China, right? That's over 100 million viewers just for that one event. So Phillips was fortunate enough, or we were fortunate enough to have Philip introduce us to them. Uh, my CSO and CTO, Stan Yezhemsky and Christian Gravel are uh, extremely successful uh, private sector uh, technology entrepreneurs. Uh, the technology that powers Fandify uh, is a platform that they've built, uh, that they've deployed uh, to you know, the government of Singapore, for example, they manage their healthcare records system. Um, Ellis Dawn in Canada uses that system to power all of the smart hospitals they've built. You know, telecom companies, insurance companies, supply chain logistics. And again, we're fortunate enough to take that technology, put it into Fandify and, and you know, bring that to our investors. Now, the company recently announced its new name change and that it's getting involved in the NFT space within the esports sector. Can you tell us how you came up with the new name and also how exactly will the company be combining 
NFTs and esports, two of my favorite sectors together. Yeah, so so what, like I said, when I joined the company, the company's name was Fandom Sports Media. You know, we, we had an initial focus towards esports and esports wagering. We still maintain our, our active gaming licenses. But as we saw the limitations of where we were getting data feeds from, you know, the light bulb went off in our heads. How do we empower, you know, all of the content creators out there, even, even a video such as this form that we're watching now, how can we put a prediction on the bottom? You know, is David going to scratch his head? Is, is Rich going to take off his ball cap? How do we engage with the audience even further? How do we deploy a real-time feedback? Do you like what David is saying? Do you like what Rich is saying? And having people swipe left and swipe right. So when we really consider the larger opportunity that, that we are knocking the door on, you know, fandom sports media really segmented us into, you know, what is fandom doing for sports? Whereas with Fandify, you know, we're only limited by our creativity in terms of what we can put our uh, prediction engine on top of. Now, when you present people with actionable data and you want them to engage longer with the stream, you know, what are we going to reward them with for doing so? So what we're doing right now is we're building out the whole gamification engine, and that'll allow us to establish leaderboards, you know, digital prizes, experiences, merchandise, for example, someone, you know, if you get 10 predictions in a row or, or, or you provide 10 points of feedback in the stream, you know, you can send them a rich TV hat, for example. But obviously, uh, you know, trying to go where the puck is going and using a Canadian metaphor, and we see a lot of people uh, that NFTs are resonating with a lot of people. So what we're going to be doing with our partners uh, is providing um, utility tokens back as a form of a reward. So we will also be providing mechanisms for people and content creators to create their own unique NFTs as a collectible. But at the same time, you know, certain people may be sponsored by certain organizations. So if you make enough predictions in a row, if you engage for long enough, you can win a a uh, utility token that will give you a 20% discount to a rich TV hat at your local retailer. You may win a utility token that will give you a free hat somewhere or, or a unique experience somewhere. So, you know, what the difference really is between what we're doing with NFTs as, a port to, as opposed to, sorry, maybe the board apes or, you know, the ones that are selling for thousands of ether and so forth is our plan is really to make as many NFTs as possible to reward people for participating in the ecosystem for, to reward them for being parts of our communities and to reward, and sorry and to reward them as well for engaging with their favorite content creators. So it's uh, it's a benefit and it's going to have some uh, real world value for them as well. I absolutely love it. I love what you guys are doing. If Fandify Technology Corp were to compare itself to its competitors in the esports sector, we've talked with a lot of esports companies over the last couple of years. What would you say sets you guys apart? Well, uh, frankly, um, esports has just been a, star, uh, a starting stone in, in, in the process. What sets us apart is our, our technology is applicable to sports, to broadcast television. So it's really content agnostic. You know, some of the other, you know, esports companies that are minting NFTs, you know, they may mint an NFT for a specific player or a specific team. But, but what is the mechanism to give that to one of their fans other than selling it to them? Right. We've what we're trying to do is build a holistic ecosystem where people are rewarded from their favorite content creators with unique NFTs, with utility NFTs that are either redeemable within our ecosystem or that they can sell through our NFT marketplace or through any other NFT marketplace. Right. We want to be the tools and the pipelines that connect content creators with their fans, with the rewards mechanism. So all parts of that ecosystem flow through Fandify. Absolutely love what you guys are doing. This sounds really, really exciting. And we love NFTs here at Rich TV Live. And we love gaming. Can you go through the capital structure of Fandify Technology Corp for our viewers? Very important for us to understand the fundamentals of the company here at Rich TV Live and how you plan on attracting more institutional investment alongside your retail investors. Yeah, certainly. Um, as, you, as you mentioned, you know, FDM is our Canadian symbol. We are DTC eligible within the US as well. Our symbol is FDMSF. There we are. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's a constant outreach, right? Uh, we have a lot of customers that are international that, you know, opportunities in the pipeline with, you know, I'd like to think are fairly, you know, brand name recognizable. So as we execute on that business plan, on that business plan and increase our uh, visibility internationally, 
uh, working with you know outlets such as yourself, Rich, uh, we're going to raise our visibility. Uh, we're going to execute on our business plan, uh, enable all of these content communities, and uh, you know just drive traffic to our, to, to our platform. Um, hope our success will drive uh, the company's value. You know, right now we have eighty two million shares outstanding, uh, fully diluted. We have one hundred and eleven million, uh, fully diluted. We will have. I think eight and a half million dollars worth of warrants would get exercised. Our last financing Great. was done at 24 cents uh, in April of 20, April of 21, 24 cents. We raised uh, about $5.3 million. Uh, the warrants uh, was a 20 month, 24 month term for the warrants. Uh, those are coming due in April. Um, those are priced at 36 cents. So if and when those are in the money, uh, you will have 110 million shares outstanding plus or minus one or two and another eight and a half million dollars in the till we're very well capitalized still from our last financing our year-end financials are coming out uh, the next 30 i think by the end of may if i'm not mistaken uh, so they'll show a strong ca cash position uh, we have a strong pipeline of partners and you know i'm always speaking with investors every day wherever they are in the world right the beauties of zoom uh, so uh look we're looking forward to making Fandify a global brand name for investors and for content creators. Well, here at Rich TV Live, we take pride in helping companies get noticed all over the world. And we've got investors in all the major markets, Canada, the United States, and in Frankfurt, Germany. So mm -hmm. if there was one thing you would want those shareholders to know about Fandify Technology Corp today, what would that be? Well, first of all, uh, we are listed in Frankfurt as well. Uh, the symbol is TQ43. Um, look, we have an active pipeline of business uh, in front of us over the next quarter, two quarters, we're looking to activate those partners. Uh, as I mentioned, we just had a press release on April 20th talking about our first partnership in Los Angeles. That'll lead to significant news flow as well. Uh, I'm looking forward to staying in touch with your community, Rich, uh, updating you on every single piece of progress we have along the way. And uh, soon enough, everyone will know what Fandify is. And we're looking to you know, maximize the return for our shareholders, attract new shareholders, and keep everybody posted uh, as much as possible, on time as possible. And like I said, I'm really looking forward to uh, staying in touch with you and, and uh, your viewers. Fantastic. And what is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about Fandify Technology Corp? That's very simple. Uh, email me direct, david at fandify.com, F-A-N-D-I-F-I.com. And uh, I promise I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, as I said, my background's in investor relations. And whether you have one share or a million shares, I always love to speak to our shareholders as often as possible. And uh, I always look forward to doing that. Thank you so much for your time today. The CEO of Fandify Technology Corp, David Vinokarov. Now, I must remind everybody that Rich TV Live is strictly for information, education, and entertainment purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we have a great track record of identifying undervalued, underappreciated, and underdiscovered opportunities. Please put Fandify Technology Corp on your radar, FDM in Canada, FDMSF in America on your watch list. We believe that it's a company that has huge potential, especially because it's in the esports and NFT sectors. And NFTs is one of those things where I'm literally hearing every day people coming out of the woodworks and saying, Rich, talk to me about NFTs. So hope you guys like this video. David, thank you for joining us today. Thanks so much, Rich. Appreciate it. Talk soon. Always a pleasure. David Vinokarov, the CEO of Fandify Technology Corp. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners, and we bring them to you first. Have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.